What's up and welcome to the video. My name is Dr. Daniel Ricciardi, gut health expert, licensed pharmacist, and fitness enthusiast. I help clients resolve bloating, gas, and digestive problems so they can look and feel their best. You may have heard about the benefits of probiotics for gut health, but with so many options out there, how do you know specifically which ones are the best ones to take? Don't worry though, in this video, we're gonna go over all the best options for loose stools and diarrhea that are based off of scientific research. Probiotics are live organisms when consumed in the right amounts can have a lot of different benefits to our bodies, such as improving digestion, improving immune function, and just contributing to overall well-being. Before you take any medication or supplement, you should know the specific purpose of why you are taking that product. Then you want to look for the best possible option so that the outcome you're looking for is more likely to happen. For example, if you're looking to take a trip to Antarctica, the winter coat that you're going to want to wear on that trip is going to be extremely different than the winter coat you might want to wear if you're going out to dinner at a restaurant in a trendy neighborhood. While there's thousands of potential winter jackets that you could buy that are available, if you're going to Antarctica, you're going to want the one that's the absolute warmest and you're probably not going to care as much how it looks unless you're just doing it for Instagram. But the same is true for choosing a probiotic. Taking just any random probiotic is the same thing as just picking a random winter jacket. If you're dealing with diarrhea and loose stools, you're going to want to take the option that's been proven through science to be the best. And that's what we're going to go over for the rest of this video. This 2018 guide from the Public Library of Sciences evaluated probiotics from over 2,500 studies to find the best possible strains for a variety of conditions. Each of these probiotic strains had multiple randomized controlled trials done, which is the highest level of study that you can possibly do for each one individual study, if that makes sense. And they looked at how well these probiotics work for each specific condition, such as diarrhea and loose stools. So I'm going to read here verbatim. These are quotes directly from this review for antibiotic associated diarrhea. It says strong evidence for efficacy was found for three probiotics to prevent antibiotic associated diarrhea, Saccharomyces boulardii or Lactobacillus casei. And then it also says, uh, or the multi-strain formulation of Lactobacillus acidophilus, Lactobacillus casei, and Lactobacillus rhamnosus. Then for pediatric acute diarrhea, it says efficacy for the treatment of pediatric acute diarrhea was strongly supported reported for Saccharomyces boulardii, Lactobacillus rhamnosus, Lactobacillus ruteri, Lactobacillus acidophilus, Lactobacillus casei. After this, it has Bacillus clausi and an eight-strain mixture, which is a probiotic called VSL number three. For irritable bowel disease, it says strong efficacy evidence was also found for an eight-strain mixture. Again, this is the VSL number three for the treatment of irritable bowel disease. For irritable bowel syndrome, this is often things such as SIBO, uh, meaning chronic diarrhea, for basically an unknown cause, something that's not showing up on scans and things like that. It says Lactobacillus plantarum or Bifidobacterium infantis were better for IBS. For prevention of traveler's diarrhea, quote, found strong evidence for Saccharomyces boulardii, while Lactobacillus rhamnosus had weak evidence. And then last category, this actually I didn't find in this particular guide, so I looked elsewhere at some other studies and research. So it's diarrhea associated with lactose intolerance. The evidence for specific probiotics for diarrhea from lactose intolerance wasn't quite as strong as some of the other literature and research that I looked at, but there definitely was quite a bit of support. This 2020 study by Nutrients Journal and this 2021 review by Cambridge University showed that some potential options that could help with diarrhea caused by lactose intolerance may include Streptococcus thermophilus, Lactobacillus bulgaricus. These two strains are often found in yogurt, actually. And then it also had Lactobacillus plantarum, Bifidobacillus, Bacterium animalis, which is also called Bifidobacterium lactis, Lactobacillus acidophilus, and Lactobacillus ruteri. If you summarize all these results, some names of these strains of probiotics that just kept seem to be popping up in each different category were Saccharomyces boulardii, Lactobacillus acidophilus, Lactobacillus rhamnosus, and Lactobacillus plantarum, those four. So if I had diarrhea or loose stools and was just looking to get a probiotic, I would probably try to find one that has as many of those strains in it as possible. My favorite probiotics right now are made by a company called Wise Human, which I'm proud to say that I am affiliated with. I like them because all their products are made by looking at clinical studies like the ones that we're talking about right now, picking out the specific strains that have shown to work the most times in the most places and creating products from them so you know you're getting a quality product that is proven to work and backed by science. They have a men's daily, a women's daily, and the advanced gut care plus, which I have right here. All of these products have the four strains that I mentioned before 
4, the Saccharomyces boulardii, Lactobacillus acidophilus, Plantarum, and Rhamnosus. If you want to check them out, there's a link down in the description, and you can get 15% off. Just use code DRDAN15. In terms of the best dosages to use for the probiotics, this review indicates that the probiotics for treatment indications should be given at a dose of 1 to 2 times 10 to the 10th CFUs, which is colony forming units per day, until symptoms resolve or go into a remission. Colony forming units is basically how many live bacteria there are. So to put this in terms that make more sense, the bacterial count is 10 billion to 20 billion live cultures. This number is definitely a generalization and depending on the specific situation or severity of the condition, you may want to use a lower or higher amount of bacteria. It also may be a good idea to start low and taper up the dosage of the probiotic just to prevent any potential bloating or flatulence when you first start taking the probiotic. You can do this over one to two weeks. To sum it up, every person and individual situation is going to be different, but for most people, when choosing a probiotic and you're looking for loose stools and diarrhea to go away, it's probably a good idea to look for products that contain Saccharomyces boulardii, Lactobacillus plantarum, Acidophilus, and Rhamnosus. This is obviously unless you have a known allergy to any one of these strains, then in that case, obviously avoid them. And for the majority of people, a good amount of bacteria to have in a product is probably going to be between 10 and 20 billion bacteria. This wraps up this week's video on which probiotic are the best to take for diarrhea and loose stools based on scientific literature. I hope this information really helps you in making a more informed decision on which probiotics you may want to take. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more science-based content on gut health and fitness. I post a new full-length video every Monday and YouTube shorts throughout the week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.